it's Mayor K, and welcome to Mondays with Mayor. Passover. Matzo, wine, eggs, repeat. Passover is a time when we connect with our history, our family, and learn powerful lessons to incorporate into our daily lives. Every year when I learn a new lesson by the Seder, it blows my mind how a tradition over 3,000 years old today instills within me lessons and insights which I could apply to my life in the 21st century. Crazy! There is one step in the Seder, Yachatz, where we take a complete, whole, perfect looking matzah and break it into two. I always wondered why we would take a whole, beautiful looking matzah and break it. It's complete, it's perfect. Why, why break it? We come into this world confident and proud. As kids, we embrace everything that we are, and we're excited to learn about new things and people and places around us. But somewhere along the road to adulthood, doubt, anxiety, and other traits creep in and make us think that we're, psh, we're, not, we're not that great after all. For some, it could be a heavy experience that makes us broken inside, and for others, it could be a physical ability. When we feel this way, it's a slippery slope with the voice in our heads telling us that we are not living up to our full potential that we are worthless. There once was an old woman who used to carry two buckets of water. Every morning, she would walk down the hill from her cottage to the river and fill them up with water. One bucket, however, had a crack. And by the time the old woman would arrive at her cottage, the bucket was only half full, making the effort of the old woman seem meaningless and making him feel worthless. A few weeks passed, and while the old woman was filling up the buckets by the river, the broken bucket cried out, Why do you bother with me? I'm broken and cannot accomplish what I was created for. Unlike the perfect bucket who brings back a full bucket of water, I only bring back half the amount. The old woman smiled at the broken bucket, and while walking back up the hill, the old woman turned around and showed the bucket. Starting from the river and making its way up to the cottage was a row of beautiful flowers, all alive and well due to the water that the broken bucket dripped along the way. What the bucket thought was his flaw, was actually his greatest asset. When he thought he had no meaning or purpose, that he was broken and couldn't accomplish what the perfect bucket was accomplishing, no, 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 no. He was perfectly imperfected. And so it goes with our lives as well. It is in the place where we think we are failing, that we are not good or perfect, where our strength and our abilities lie. It is wedged in the crack of our being that makes us who we are, different and uniquely special from each other. Each and every one of us has a certain gift, a power and energy that no one else has. No one. So tell that voice in your head to go fly a kite because it's total and utter falsehood to believe that oh, I'm not perfect, that you cannot attain what it is that you are meant to do here on this earth. This is the lesson of the broken matzah. God is telling us that we are not meant to hold ourselves on a pedestal of perfection, but rather it's through the cracks that we shine and shine we do if we allow ourselves the right to. Perfection is for the angels. They are created for a certain purpose and they do what they gotta do. But when it comes to us human beings, we are meant to be who we are not perfect, but beings with a consciousness, with the gift of choice, to choose right from wrong, to use our talents to make this world a brighter place. Thank you for watching, and remember, embrace all that is you. All your perfect imperfections. Stay positive, be happy, and have a great week.